Cinema 4D R12 features a number of enhancements to the character animation workflow. The joint tool now draws joints at the correct view depth and places them within the object. And the IK tag now allows you to define the axis for pole vectors and use twist to offset the rotation of the chain. The IK tag also now includes a powerful dynamic system, which allows you to simulate antennae, tails, and other dynamic chain structures. You can define collision objects by simply dragging them into a link list, and apply particle forces in the same way. Because all functionality that required bones has now been replaced with methods using the superior joint system, bones have been removed from release 12. Legacy scenes using bones will be converted to joints automatically, with weighting translated as well. The null conversion commands have been updated to support dual transforms, and there's a new option to convert joints into polygonal objects so you can use a skeleton as a starting point for creating your character mesh. Weights provide a vital connection between your character's joints and skin, and good weighting is key when it comes to character animation. The new Weights Manager in Cinema 4D R12 puts powerful weighting controls in a convenient interface. A spreadsheet view makes it easy to see exactly what weights are applied for each point and joint, and apply convenient functions including copy and paste. The Mirror tool in Release 12 offers a more intuitive interface that makes it simpler to mirror entire rig structures including IK, constraints, weights, and now even polygon and spline objects. There's also an option to automatically freeze transforms when mirroring so both sides of your rig are immediately ready for animation or constraints. The constraint tag has been updated with several options related to dual transforms, and there's a new bounds mode which allows you to constrain an object so it remains within another object or spline. Dynamic parenting is also now possible in release 12 by animating the target from one parent to the other. Cinema 4D Studio R12 includes the new pose morph tag which combines and extends the functionality of the pose mixer and morph tags in prior versions. PoseMorph allows you to easily morph translations, points, hierarchies, parameters, user data, vertex maps, and even UV coordinates. Points mode supports the correction and camera deformers, hair and spline tangents in addition to ordinary geometry. Like the legacy morph tag, all states can be stored directly in the tag without the need for additional objects or hierarchies, but you can also define a target for easier editing or even store poses within an external file. You can now multi-select, enable, disable, and lock your targets as well as organize them into folders for easier management. PoseMorph also includes a correctional mixing mode, so you can edit a model in a deformed state and create pose-based deformations. The Inclusion tab allows you to exclude certain objects from a hierarchical morph. PoseMixer and morph tags from legacy scenes will automatically be updated to use the new PoseMorph tag with all Expresso references preserved. All these practical workflow enhancements combine with the new deformers and dynamic options in Cinema 4D R12 to make it easier than ever before to create expressive character animations.